everyone. This is Carl. Welcome to Aeronautica. Today, we will review some liveries of particular aircraft, starting with the Airbus A330-900neo. We begin with this Virgin Atlantic Ruby Rebel. Golf Dash Victor Sierra Romeo Bravo G-VSRB and the RB stands for Richard Branson, the founder of the airline and of the Virgin Group. So what do you think of this livery? Pulling out the jet photo. Well, the font is different. Yeah, this you can. This could be included. Now for the other belly. Same font. engine not so textured the logo the Rolls Royce will be directly above the red line How about the text? It's a bit bold though. Yeah, it could be thinner. And the placement with respect to the windows, it's perfect. Somewhat. Yeah, the signature of Britain's flag carrier and the Ruby Rebel. And differences in the art? Well, let you be the judge then. The, the nose gear door, the RB is <laughs> larger than seen in the rear plane. Yeah, the, the logo directly above the red line. And that's it. Next one is a Iberojet. The Charlie Sierra dash Tango Charlie Foxtrot. GSS TCF. And it's a Mobile Comissona. <laughs> Highly translated from Portuguese. All right, there's, I don't see any red marking. The real plane, though, so it's just smaller. Well, how about the tail area? It's accounted for. Yeah, this should be. Applies to the European Union and Portugal. Curves. registration under the wing. Uh, there's no registration under the wing. What a pity. And not much detail on the engine sides. Uh, where's the travel plan and the Rolls-Royce logo? So 
So whoever made this livery, it should, it could be improved further. Not it should. This could be improved further. You just need to add the, the Rolls Royce logo, the travel plan. There's your Iberojet. The Plane of Dreams. Of Yaw the Sonus. Next. Eta Airways. It's a, the tail registration is Echo India dash Tango Yankee Delta. E I T Y D. Irish. So all of the elements are accounted for. The logo, the flag of Italy. And where's the text here? There's Y D. Where's the Yankee Delta, the YD? And unlike the other ETA AK-3900s, this has the smaller door. But in the, the detail, it's, when you customize it, this was for the larger door, for the larger door. But yeah, the real TYD has the smaller door, though, so for posterity, <laughs> should remake the uh, yeah. This, this should be replaced. Other than that, P I T I D S the font. Yeah, the font. The logo. The logo should uh, should touch the red line, so it's more forward. Arigosaki. And, hmm, I'm just, I just looked at the nose area. Hmm. Alright, so the text should be smaller and uh, closely under the, the main door. Yeah, the Sky Team logo, also smaller. Than the window, the cockpit. Yeah, the size of the cockpit window is large. Okay, the other side. Okay, one window. Yeah, this looks good. It's just need to change the font. It's just that's it. There's some missing elements, inconsistent sizing and the font use and why custom you don't have to customize with the bigger door. I think in the real plane it's usually the smaller. So here's the Ita Arigosaki. Next one is a Cebu Pacific. It's the Romeo Papa Dash Charlie 3900. A special 25th anniversary sticker on the nose. What do you think of this? The font looks consistent. Detail markings, bigger door, engine side. The 
nose. Is this red marking necessary? No, I don't see the red markings on the real plane. Now for the other side, double zero. Is this perfect? Or this detail should be a bit. Yeah. Yeah, almost perfect, but you just need to remove these major details. Yeah. It could be thinner. Yes, you don't need this. Yeah, it's almost perfect. <laughs> and I've I've read there is a another post without the twenty fifth anniversary sticker for this one. So here's the Smooth Pacific. And finally, we have a Delta Airlines. November 407 Delta X-Ray and for 07 DX. It's counter four. That's actually plane number. Details beside the door. The fuselage tax is lower. The triangles touching the windows. Um, you know, that's a major blunder there. But yeah. this is the best you can do. You can you could have just uh, moved these up, make it in line, and let's see how it's consistent to the size. It's it's above the doors. Yeah. You could, yeah, this could be smaller. And like this one. This one is not touching the windows, but the triangle here is that this is touching. You just have to drag the triangle and the belt attacks. At least compare with the real aircraft before even exporting this to, to the particular file type. And there goes the details. It's are these necessary? Yeah, I, we don't see these lines there, though. No. Or it's just part of the detail kit. Anyway, this is this is touching the window. Right, so there's seven windows long. Two. Four, six. Yeah, that's, this is only six windows long. Well, on the real plane, it's seven. And yeah, this could be bigger. Seven windows. Three, four, six. It's just six. So, this is decent. It just needs uh, further improvement. And there are some selected liveries for the Airbus A330-900 Neo. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.